guys for joining me today to complete my speech on the new statute. My research for the topic was found on the website called the Clarity Project. There wasn't an author listed, but there was a date on the site that said when the research was written, which was uh, on December 21st of 2017. On the site, they defined human trafficking as a form of modern slavery. In my opinion, I think that is the best way to define it because humans are being held captive against their own will, and they are also forced to do things that they definitely would never give consent to. There was an article on the site named Survivor Story on New Beginning. It was written by Joe Gallant on December 30th of 2015. And in the article, he talks about a victim, I forgot her name, but she was a victim of human trafficking. She was actually held captive in a hotel room. And she couldn't leave even if she wanted to because the man who pretty much, you could say, kidnapped her and to kill her if she ever did leave. She ended up eventually calling for help, but most victims, as you might imagine, they wouldn't or cannot do it because of how scared they are. Thankfully though, nowadays, with all the modern day technology and the knowledge we have of these events taking place, less occurrences of human trafficking do occur, but it is still happening to this day. It happens mostly to people who are homeless, children who ran away from home because maybe they had a fight with their parents, or they don't like their brothers and sisters. They just they want to live somewhere else and be happy, even though that's probably as the happiest they'll be. So they just take off walking, and a human trafficker sees them, and they go in to get their prey. They'll pretty much promise a better life. Um, they'll tell them they'll get them a well-paying job. But really, in reality, if they do get a well-paying job, then eventually the human trafficker will tell them that they can't have any of the money they earn, that it's going to all go to him. And they don't get that better life. And sometimes the human trafficker also tells them They'll get a better relationship because some victims are actually abused women that are leaving a really bad relationship that went all wrong. So they tell them, hey, look, if you come with me, I'll give you this perfect relationship and we'll be together forever. I'll make you happy. I'll do things better than the other guy did. But it's all lies. And these victims fall for it because they're weak. So... To decrease the amount of occurrences we have with this problem, I think we should have groups in our communities to not only support the victims, but to make future victims aware of common signs of the human trafficker. If we all do this together, then I really do believe that human trafficking will come to an end. Thank you all again for coming here today and helping me out with my project, and I hope you all have a great night.